Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. Any questions on to what it is that I do? How do I do it? Services that I provide? Any questions on Patreon and all of that fun stuff down below in the description. So we are back with our Earth signs. I am a Capricorn, as many of you are aware. So this is for Taurus, Virgo, and Cappy. Let's see what is up for you guys this week. Hmm. 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 Yep, somebody from the past is definitely moving um, towards you, either to come in with an apology or to try to mend something that um, <laughs> has been broken. Hmm. I'm not sure that a lot of you are going for it, though. A lot of you are focused on what it is that you are pursuing, Focus on what it is, whatever project or whatever it is that you're working on. There are... There are some, there's going to be um, either a, a group of people or um, a person in particular that's going to try to get your attention um, in regards to something. Um, it's not love related though, it's something else. It's not exactly sure, it's not very clear at the moment. But um, those of you, the person that is coming from the past, um, will listen, will take the time to see what they have to say, but it's like the minute that you decide to think about it or to at least give it some thought, then the person or the people that they are still messing around with or playing around with um, will reach out and make themselves known to you. So for some of you, this person that is coming back from the past has not changed when it comes to being in that player energy. So, I mean, it is up to you. You, you get to choose if you want to be with somebody that is going to constantly be stepping out on you because they themselves cannot, um, cannot see your value, cannot see your worth. Now, if you feel that you deserve somebody or you feel that, um, it is okay for that. And I'm not, this is not in any way in regards to open relationships. This is about relationships when a person is being fully committed to another and they are, um, and is agree is an agreement that two people are going to be fully committed to each other, but then one person continues to step out. Now, if you feel that that is the, what you deserve and you feel that that is what you're worth, then maybe there, maybe you have to go ahead and look and see why it is that you feel that way. Why do you feel that you don't deserve somebody that can um, go ahead and be faithful? Somebody that can go ahead and take accountabilities for their actions. Somebody that is going to go through with their words and that it's not just going to be empty promises. Yes, this may have been a pattern. This may have been the type of people that you attracted in the past. But if you continue on allowing that to happen, then it's just more of that that you're going to continue on attracting. So at the moment, you know, some earth signs are going to choose to be alone because they want to work on what it is that their desires and their wish fulfillments are when it comes within themselves when it comes to either you know it can be about losing weight it can be about you know starting a new career or starting a new hobby or starting something or whatever it is it doesn't have to be specifically about love but you are following your heart when it comes to your own passion and following your dreams and not so much about somebody else those of you that do choose to give this person another chance will find yourself alone very shortly after. Yes, could it be that there is going to be a few, a few of you that are going to get back together with this person and things are going to change? Of course, again, these are general readings, so just take that in mind. There are some people that have learned their lessons. There are some people that are coming towards another person and they're ready and willing to commit, but that is not the case for most of what I see. All righty. I know people get upset with that because it's like, oh, well, what if he does? Well, you will know if a person is fully committing to you. You will know by their actions, not just their words. If there's no actions behind their word, then are we just going to continue on taking empty promises? That is up to you to decide, love. Up to you. Um, yeah, some of you feel that you are incomplete without this person. 
you are a whole person by yourself. You have to get to realize that you are worth um, way more than what you give yourself credit for. And yes, you can find that worth in work. You can find that work worth in other uh, materialistic things. And what I mean, like, you know, when you start a new project, when you start something out, you want to go full force, you want to invest all of your time. And you know that the rewards that you reap and things like that is exactly what you're worth. So why are you not treating your love, your romantic connections the same way is the question earth sign. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out a card for Thaudos, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What is your card for this week? Um, let's see. Ah, come on. Taurus, your card for this week is the Ace of Wands. And when I look at this card, there's a bird that's almost landing on her hand. And she's going ahead and she's looking down. And it's like, Somebody here is realizing how much of their power, how much of their own life they gave to someone else. And getting to that place where they want to feel whole with another another person. They want to feel that 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 unconditional self-love for themselves because they do they know that they have shut part of their heart heart out to others and that they have had opportunities with other people with other suitors and have turned them um yeah have turned them away just because of the simple fact that they were still hurting but i feel taurus that you are coming out of that or at least trying to come out of it even if you have to look at things from a logical point of view Virgo, what is going on with you, Virgo? Are you going to give this person another chance? And if so, what are you going to learn? Or is it going to work out? Ah, let's see. Virgo, 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 Virgo. the one that came out in the top and it's just like screaming my name the divine tower it can go one of two ways and i feel that that's where the virgos i feel like some virgos are asking well what does it if it does work out if the person comes that comes coming back from the past is taking actions then there's a pretty high chance that this person has learned their lesson and their intentions are to um, invest your time and energy in you. If this person comes in and is giving you promises and shortly after you're realizing that there is no actions behind them, then there is your answer. Regardless, there is going to be a tower. There is going to be a moment of realizing whether this connection is for you or not. But you yourself have to make that decision. Is your actions behind their promises? Because mm -hmm. I feel like somebody comes in with the good with with the correct intention when they're offering things, but then they realize real quickly that they can't go through with it because they like the way that their life currently is without having to quote unquote, they have a feeling of not wanting to feel tied down. So cappies, cappies, what's going on here? Nine of swords. I feel that a lot of the Capricorns are just, mm, some of you are not even gonna listen to it. It's like as soon as the other person starts talking, you're like, mm, let's not do this again. You have been forgiven or is left in the past. Let's move forward. We can be friends, but that is all that I have to offer. Um, because you spent a lot of time um, waiting on this person. You spent a lot of, um, you cried a lot. You spent a lot of time wanting this person to straighten out. And at this point, you really do not care whether they have or not. Because right now, you're focusing on you. And when it comes to the, how can I put it? It was more of, the last thing that you were kind of grieving was what you wanted with this person, what you, you two could have been. Not so much that 
you weren't grieving the fact that the connection was over because you already knew this, but you were grieving what could have been. And you're at this point where you're just like, you know, you're just accepting it. Oh, look, we have the Ace of Swords um, at the bottom of the deck. You've accepted things for what they are. And at the moment, you do not want to invest in this connection. You just kind of want to just invest in yourself. Okay. And again, it's not, it's the, these are general readings because I can hear some, no, I'm still waiting for him. I'm still waiting for her. Let them come. Again, everybody will have their own clarity. Follow your own intuition when it comes to somebody returning from the past. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you at the moment. As always, thank you for all the love and support. And if you are interested in the weekly Zodiac signs, go ahead and check out the Patreon um, for the extended readings. The information is down below in the description. Have a wonderful, beautiful, amazing day. Bye-bye.